When Lucy Dole returns to the hospital these days, she does so with deep purpose and meaning. Most times it's to reconnect with people she credits with saving her husband's life, people she got to know. In May of 2015, Ben Dole should have died. After being brought back to life four times by Richland paramedics and taken to Cadillac, the team in the ER seamlessly took over. Every second counted, none were wasted. Every decision was critical. The situation was grim, but the team of caregivers pushed through each emerging crisis. After the initial critical life-saving efforts, it was onto the ICU to begin life-sustaining work. During our three-week stay in the ICU, we encountered the most amazing team of caring and compassionate people. Everyone on the team showed an interest and an investment in what was happening to Ben. Any question or concern that I had was listened to and addressed. Everyone from the sweet lady that kept his room immaculate to the doctors with the medical expertise that allowed the physical healing. Each one played a part in the recovery that began to emerge after many days of treatment. Lucy took part in the daily rounds with the ICU team, allowing the caregivers to really get to know her and her husband. I could see that each person on the team was doing their part to ensure that all of the dimensions of care were being attended to. And when plans were being made for the next steps of care after ICU, again, I could count on the compassionate and competent care in the planning of each detail. Ben's stay ultimately included time in rehabilitation. He encountered virtually every level of care at Cadillac. Our experience took place in the ICU, but at the core of what we experienced was an underlying attitude that reflected the caregiver's intense desire to provide us the very best and most compassionate care possible. I believe that it reflects a deep and intentional focus in the training of all of Cadillac's caring staff. With these additional rooms that will be available in ICU and acute care, Cadillac will be able to say yes to more patients as they did for us. If we had needed to go elsewhere for care, I doubt if Ben would have survived. This is just one family's experience, but it's a shining example of work that goes on at Cadillac every hour of every day of every year, living the mission. We view Ben's recovery as miraculous and complete and a gift from God. We also know that without the meticulous care and medical expertise provided by the Cadillac team, the outcome could have been very different. There's no way for us to adequately thank each person on the Cadillac team, but hope my words to be an encouragement for all of Cadillac to continue to provide the safe and compassionate care that we experienced.